What do you see on this first picture? Stack of quarters. So let's say we have a same amount of quarters. Would they have a same value? Would they have a same cross section horizontally at the same height? Yes. Do they have a same height? Then they have a same value. Look at a stack of CD, CDs, right? CD cases. Do they have a same height? Yes, same height. And would they have a same cross section? If you cut it horizontally at the same height? Yes. Then by Cavalieri's principle, they have a same height. So there are two conditions that goes with it. It has to have a same height and same cross-section at the same height. And what do we call this? Isn't this, if the, the base was a square, wouldn't this be a, what? What would this be called? What kind of prism is this? If it's a square, then it's a square prism. And we also say it is right square prism, right? Because the lateral faces are perpendicular to the ground. And you see how this one is tilted? Then what do we call this? Oblique. So even if it is oblique, would they still have a same volume? Yes. Same thing, right? If you have this, you know, yellow page books, even you make it tilt angle, would they still have a same height? Same cross section? then they have a same value, okay? So now let's look at page 12, SLT 6. So let's find the area of T prime, meaning area of this triangle. They said the first one is a triangular prism, and the second one is rectangular prism, okay? So let's find the area of T, this triangle. We're same as the base, right? So how do you find the area of a triangle? Lo lowercase b, lowercase b times height divided by 2. Why is it lowercase b? What is capital letter B? That was the area of the base, right? So now, what is the base of this triangle? 10 times height 3.3, .3, and you divide by 2. So then what do you get? Yeah, everyone take out your calculator and plug it in. 15, 16.5. Units squared, right? What about area of R prime, which is this? What shape is this? It says what? It says it's a rectangular prism, so it has to be a rectangle. So how do you find the area of a rectangle? Base times height or length times width, which is 4 times... 4.125. Then what do you get? 16.5. U squared. <gasps> what do you notice? At the same height, the cross section is not the same shape. I mean, if it's the same shape, obviously it will have the same area. But this one didn't have the same shape, but it ended up being the same area, right? What about the height of the prism? What's the height of the prism? Five in, five. So then, by Cavalieri's principle, they have the same height and same area for cross section at the same height. Therefore, they should have the same volume, right? Why? Volume is what? Isn't it big B times height? Where the big B is what? Base of, area of the base, right?
And remember, prism has the two same bases, and the cross section will be same as those bases. So what was the area of the base for the triangular prism? 16.5 times height 5. So you get 82.5 units cubed. What about the rectangular prism? What will be its volume? It's going to be same thing. 82.5 units cubed, right? It has the same base and same height. So if the height other than 3 were chosen for the cross-section, so you see how they find the area of the cross-section when the height was 3. If they choose a different cross-section at a different height, would the cross-sectional area change? No. It will be still same as its base, which is same as the cross section at height of three. Okay. What about these? Next page. Look at the figure below. The first solid is right square pyramid. What does that mean? Right means the apex or the vertex is right above the center of the base. Remember, right? And square. Pyramid means what? This is the base. Base is square, meaning they are all equal lengths, right? While the second solid is an oblique. What is oblique? It's tilted. Obviously, the center is not right above the center of the base. And what kind of pyramid is it? Oblique trapezoidal. Pyramid. So this is a trapezoid. If the cross section taken at the same height right here, at the same height, are equal in area, does it say they have an equal volume? Would they have a same volume? If they had the same height. It looks like they have the same height, right? So you will say yes, right? Because it has the same height and same area for cross section at the same height. That's what Cavalier's principle says, right? What about number seven? Explain the figure below. What must be true about each layer of the two prism in order for Cavalieri's principle to hold true. It seems like they have nine layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, eight. So they have the same height. You can say it's eight. And if it must be true, then they need to have what? They must have... Right. They must have the... Same, what? Shape or area, right? Of the cross section at the what? Same height. Okay. So now let's do a few more example questions. Number eight. An oblique cylinder has height of five. So always go ahead and add it to the diagram. So here's height is five. Height must be always perpendicular to the bottom base. And the volume is 45 pi. So the volume is 45 pi. So yesterday, we only find the volume of a right prism or a right cylinder, but this one is oblique. Can we still use the same volume? Yes, because it has the same base, same height, then they have the same volume. So it's asking to find the radius. So what do you do? 
The value equals to what? What's the formula? First, write the formula. Base times height, which is big B area of the base times height. So the volume equals to what's the area of the base? What's the formula for the area of A? What? Circle, pi r squared times height. So now just plug it in what you have. What's the volume? Did they give us the volume? 45 pi equals to pi is pi. What's the radius? We don't know. That's what we are looking for. What about height? Do we have the height? 5. So from here, you solve for R. You're solving the equation. So can I get rid of the pi's first by dividing pi from both sides? Can I also divide by 5 at the same time to save some steps? Yes. So then 9, 45 divided by 5 is 9 equals to r squared. Now, what is the final step to get rid of the square? square? You take square root. So actually, your r becomes what? Plus and minus 3, right? Plus and minus 3. But can ever a length radius be negative 3? Can someone be a negative 6 foot tall? No. So you have to take the positive. So the radius is what? 3. There's no units. So you can just write units, right? Nine. So use Cavalieri's principle to explain why cylinder with the base of a radius of 5. So I'll go ahead and circle the important information. So cylinder with the base radius of 5 and height of 10. Can we just go ahead and draw? I like to just draw whatever they give us. So the radius is 5, height is 10, and it was a cylinder. Does it have the same value as a square prism? So square prism that has a height square prism with edge length 5 root pi. It's a square, so this is also 5 root pi. And what's the height? Height of also 10, so same height. So it already has the same height, check, right? So then what do you have to compare? Do you have to find the volume? No, since it already have the same height, if they have a same what? Area of a cross section, which can, which can be their basis, if they have the same area of the base, then they are equal in volume, right? They have same volume. So what is the area of the base? It's a circle. It's pi r squared. So it is pi times 5 squared, which is 25 pi. If you're comparing this with an area that does not have pi, you probably need to convert this in terms of decimal values. But the other one also has value of pi, so I'm going to leave it as it is right now. What about a square? How do you find the area of a square? Base times height, so it is 5 root pi times 5 root pi. So now you multiply by the whole numbers. 5 times 5 is 25. What is root pi times root pi? Pi. Right? What is root 2 times root 2? Just becomes 2, right? So same thing. Root pi times root pi is pi. Oh, so what do you notice? Yes, they have a same area of the base, meaning same area of the cross section at the same height. So can you use Cavalieri's principle to explain why they are 
the same? Yes. So what would you write? They have the same volume because they have what? Have the same height and the area of the base. Which is the cross section at height of zero, right? 